In today's review, we're talking about Gold Striker, one of the newer GCI roller coasters to come to the United States. And what I love about this is that it's a very well-rounded ride. This is a great example of a coaster that doesn't have too impressive stats, but it has the full package. It's exhilarating, it's fun, it's got a great layout, and it just feels very complete. So today you're really going to get a feel for my thoughts on the ride. I'm going to go in depth. So of course, starting things off, you can ride this coaster at California's Great America in Northern California. This is definitely the best ride in the park. I'd say probably second best coaster in Northern California, but I would argue best wooden coaster in California. It also happens to be my favorite GCI. And I've ridden some awesome GCIs. So why do I like it so much? Well, first let's start with the uniqueness aspect. The first of those things being the tunnels. The entire first drop and a few other moments throughout the ride have these tunnels. Gold Striker has the largest enclosed drop on any roller coaster, and it was actually done for noise reasons. But I think it makes the ride just that much cooler. And as with all GCIs, you gotta have some good airtime, and Gold Striker provides some great moments of ejector airtime. GCIs are known for their twister layouts, and oftentimes some of them have very similar layouts. Some of them go more out and back, but this one is very much just wrapping around itself, twisting every which direction. If you look at it from above, it's crazy how much ride they were able to fit into this space because they just have these huge sweeping turns and then the ride will later go under those turns. It'll pass over itself multiple times. And so that does make for a long ride experience. Now, when I visited California's Great America, I only got a chance to ride Gold Striker twice. One of those was going to be in the front row and then the other one in the back. And this also is one of those roller coasters where they tell you where to go sit. So I kind of had to talk my way into convincing him to give me the front and back row. And I don't really remember which one I thought I liked the best, but I remember really liking both of them. Overall, I was really pleased when I got off Gold Striker. It's such a solid ride. Plus, you gotta love those trains. The GCI trains are always super comfortable. And this is just one of those roller coasters that you just want to throw your hands up on. It has some of those moments where it feels out of control. You'll be hanging on your side, then other moments you'll be flying up out of your seat. And as with all GCIs, the pacing on this ride is just very well done. It keeps its speed throughout the entire ride. It may start to slow a little bit towards the end, but the bottom line is that it uses up all of that speed. GCI could have said, okay, we've done enough, let's just kind of have it end here. But no, they decide to have it keep going, continue winding around, until finally you hit the brakes and you just say to yourself, wow, that was great. And that is why the company is called Great Coasters International. So for its final score, I'm going to give Gold Striker a 9 out of 10. This is one of my favorite wooden roller coasters. Definitely top 10 for Woody's, favorite GCI. So I want to hear about your thoughts on Gold Striker at California's Great America. Are you a fan? Have you gone around to riding it? Is it on your bucket list? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews. I have plenty more coming here at Coaster Studios.